So we're here at the Boiler Room for ACM's Urban Showcase and I'm here with Sam Hurst. Uh, so if you could introduce me to yourself as an artist and, um, and about your course at ACM. So I'm Sam Hurst, uh, this is my band, we've got Ross over here, we've got Jack, we've got Miles over there, and uh, I'm on the Creative Artist course at ACM. Fantastic, so how did you find out about today's event and um, what can we expect from your set? Uh, so I went up to Industry Link and uh, just asked if they got any gigs going and uh, they told me about this one, so I thought it would be quite a good opportunity to come here and showcase our set, which would be quite cool. Amazing, and how did you guys uh, meet as a band? Sam lives next door to me and Jack, yeah. and we needed bass as well, so Sam reached out to Miles and we got the whole band supported. So, yeah. Fantastic. So, um, what are your influences as an artist, and uh, is there any ACM tutors that have particularly inspired you since you've started your studies? Yeah, I'll start with the tutors. Uh, John Gallen, he's one of my main man. he's cool. I look, I look up to him quite a lot, he helped me with my production and all that sort of stuff. Um, and Tim Hawes, he helped me quite a lot when it comes to like songwriting and uh, like what I could do to improve and stuff like that. And uh, influences would be like uh, Bryson Tiller, uh, there's an artist called Black that I really look up to, which is quite cool. Like just the like R&B sort of stuff, like R&B soul. Amazing, any influences for you guys? Brian Henry. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's wicked and I guess with a lot of my playing is inspired by that and stuff. And yeah, that's it really, just, nice. just riff all that. <laughs> so, yeah. Awesome. Drum wise, probably like Quest Love for this kind of stuff. It's quite laid back, good groove, yeah. Uh, yeah, tutor wise, like uh, Pat Hughes really helped me like when I first started and he really helped me get my technique up and kind of opened me to like a lot of music. And he showed me a lot of like 80s stuff, which requires like a lot of uh, synth bass. So I've used that kind of like techniques and all this stuff to make it kind of really fit with the genre and stuff. So it's, yeah, just take influences from everywhere, really. Fantastic. So um, ACM prides itself on creating real world opportunities for its students, such as playing at the Boiler Room. Um, how important do you think opportunities like that are for students whilst they're still in education? Uh, I think it's very important. So then like, you can get to experience like big venues, um, play in big venues and uh, just get used to the whole vibe and atmosphere of the whole lot really. Yeah. yeah. It's different um, just playing in the classroom, it's important to get yeah. out of um, just in the classroom and probably Guildford at some point as well so yeah. we'll start moving gigging in London and stuff yeah. hopefully soon to get into like the industry and sort of see how it all works it's definitely like a really good thing um, especially to see like what you're up against other bands wise to kind of yeah compare yourself and push yourself to make yourself better I suppose yeah yeah I, I agree like uh, I think it's really good to kind of try and get out there now while we're still like around everyone because once we like left we're kind of on our own so it's good to like get the foot in the door now and it so yeah so um what would you say to other students that want to get involved in opportunities like this what's your advice to them and uh, how's your course sort of helped you um to prepare for performances like this uh, i say just do it like any opportunity just literally just do it just push yourself to do it until like you just you're so like familiar with like just gigging and things like that and uh in creative artists we do a lot of performing in front of all of our peers we get a lot of uh, peer feedback and stuff like that and that just like that's quite a big step because you're performing in front of they're all musicians so they all know what like they're kind of like looking out for and stuff like that so that's already quite nerve-wracking so that's already like preparing you for like gigs like this and things like that i think when you're playing especially in band skills and other modules to a room full of other musicians and tutors they're always listening um to how you can improve and stuff and they're so switched on to what you're doing and that really sets you up because they're going to be your biggest critics in the classroom so when you go out and do gigs um, a lot of the audience might not know if something happens so it just sets you up in the best way really to go out there and gig so that's it yeah. I think advice wise just use your time really wisely and just take every opportunity put yourself forward for everything that you can um, yeah just to get the best experience and develop yourself as a, as a musician or an artist and push yourself further I suppose. So um, finally, what's your aspirations when you guys graduate and uh, what can we expect from you as an artist over the next year? Uh, well I hope to be still gigging, hopefully doing like bigger shows, bigger venues uh, all over the UK, maybe even the world, <laughs> who knows, hopefully that's the dream really. I, thought that's, I think that's just summed up as well, so more gigs and stuff yeah. and just hopefully playing for more artists as well. Amazing, well thanks guys and good luck for your performance. I see 
The look in your eyes before It's dangerous But I'm willing to lose it all Thinking about the things that I wanna do. It's dangerous. I'm looking forward to showing you. And how do you make me feel so good? Oh yeah, it's dangerous, but I don't mind the things you do. Yes, won't you come my way? If you want real world opportunities, choose ACM.